Hello community! You're not gonna believe it, but Stable Diffusion 2 is out. So, before we wanna go to Hugging Face and try it there on the spaces, why not install it here on our Google Colab notebook and let's try it out ourselves. For example, it is free. You don't even have to log in anymore to Hugging Face to get a token. Stable Diffusion 2. So, let's have a look. We have pip install upgrade, GitHub, diffusers git, our transformers, our accelerator, our scipy and our FDFI. Beautiful. And we are in version 2. And you will not believe it, the command is now stable. Stability AI, stable diffusion 2 for a model AI. And we go here with the Euler Shadowler. I told you in my last one, version 1, you have three different scheduler. Here we take Euler. Beautiful. And my prompt is, and you're not going to believe this, is a garden full of flowers and a small creek illuminated by sunset. You might ask why, because in my video on Stable Diffusion 1, I had the same, same, same prompt. So you can go there to my video and compare the result, the difference between Stable Diffusion 1 and Stable Diffusion 2. As you can see here, we have PyTorch uh, Float 16. We have the smaller F FP16, not FP32, but otherwise this is the full-fledged version. We go with a height of 768, a width of 1120, guidance scale I put on 75, the numeric inference step. Let's go with a, a, for a minimum amount of 50 steps. Let's have a look at our resources. What about our GPU RAM? Yeah, GPU RAM is about 70%. This looks good. We are, yes, everything. Maybe we can try 1200. Let's have a look at the picture. This is why we're here. We want to see a full garden of flowers. Hey, this is nice. Oh, this is really nice. Oh, come on. For, for 30 seconds, if we, if we try to... What about, let's make it a little bit bigger. Can we go with 1200? Oops, was too fast. Well, let's just see if our RAM, yes, and, and does the RAM hold up? 50 minutes, yeah, we are longer, close to a minute. But what about RAM? How does our GPU RAM look like? Oh, almost, almost 90% and up. So let's cross the fingers that we will be able to run this on the free Colab notebook. So the minimal configuration we have, we have, what we have? We have almost nothing available anymore. 15 seconds left. So it's about, yes, about 40, 50 seconds. And we have a height of 768 pixels times 1200 pixels. And let's have a look. Let's have a look. Uh, is enough RAM available on our GPU to do this? Yes! Hey, beautiful! There's some strange X here and there's some artifact here from some other pictures, as you can see. Ah, this is from the... I remember if, if uh, this are uh, the picture, the watermark and from some other pictures, but nice. <laughs> this is funny. But come on, isn't this beautiful? Hey, wow. For one minute, not bad at all. 768 times 1200, number of interference step. Let's increase it to 100. So I guess now we crash on GPU RAM. But let's see. Let's cross our fingers. It is one minute and 40 seconds. One minute, 40 seconds to go. A number of inference step we doubled to 100. Guidance scale is the same at 7.5. The dimension of the image is still the same, 768 times 1200 pixels. So here we are after 1 minute 43 seconds. Where is our picture? Yes, here we go. Nice. Now you see the watermark is gone. We have increased the number of iterations beautifully. There's no duplex here anywhere. I could see it. We do not have two or three sins. That's nice. There's no scaling in that effect. I think this is a beautiful picture. What do you think? 
for 1 minute and 43 seconds. Yes, here you have the code for Stability AI Stable Diffusion 2 using the Euler scheduler. Pipe to CUDA, yeah, we do enable attention slicing careful in the pipeline because we have only the free uh, Colab uh, GPU. If you have a high performance GPU with a lot of memory, please disable this command. Otherwise, try to go a little bit higher, maybe go to in the width of 1600 pixel with your personal graphic card or you have, you can afford the Google Colab Pro version with more memory. But this was just to show you, the result is amazing! Thank you for watching and I hope you have fun with this.